What's happened, everyone? Bashar Ketu here, Amazon be a seller from beautiful San Diego. Um, I was trying to go live earlier, and uh, something was happening with my Facebook. Had to restore my laptop, and here I am again. If you guys are tuned in right now, go ahead and hashtag live, hashtag replay, and also let me know what city, state, or country you guys are tuning in from in the comment section. Now, another thing that I want you guys to do, please, 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 like this video, share this video with your friends if you find it valuable. And if you guys have any questions about Amazon PPC, how it works, what does it entail, or maybe you have some things that I'm gonna, you know, that I'm not gonna cover in the video, and you know about that, you know, our audience might benefit from, please go ahead and share those in the comment section. Michael in the house, Sampi, uh, Phil, what's happening? Alexander, Rami in the house, what's happening, guys? So go ahead and let us know what city, state, or country you guys are tuning in from. And I would love to hear from you guys. But let's go ahead and talk about Amazon FBA PPC, kind of what it really is, how it works. Um, you know, should you use it? Should you not use it? Some people swear by it. Some people don't want to touch it, you know, especially when it comes to launching products on Amazon. Um, and, and, you know, especially that Amazon is kind of getting a little bit uh, – I guess more anal about really how things work and um, and just kind of you know discussing all that stuff and how it all works. So let's go ahead and uh, discuss that topic right now. Um, as many of you guys know, Phil, what's happening, man? Glad to have you here, brother. Uh, Barkus in the house. What's going on? Aaron in the house. What's happening? How are you, man? Glad to have you guys here. So as many of you guys know that Amazon um, or or PPC campaigns in Amazon have two different branches, right? There is the auto and then there is the manual. Now, many of you guys that are new to this or to Amazon world, what does PPC stand for? PPC simply stands for um, paid ads or paid per click, right? Sorry, I'm trying to do two different things and, and my uh, losing my chain of thoughts. So anyhow, let's talk a little bit more about you know PPC and um, how it all works. So when you launch a new product on Amazon, Amazon is going to throw you all the way in the end of the searches, right? Amazon is going to toss you all the way in the searches, and a lot of times people are like, well, you know, I just launched the product, and I went to Amazon researching it using my keyword, and I couldn't find myself. Well, no shit, because Amazon is going to toss you all the way in the back, and you have to get your product to where it's actually showing up in front of the audience, right? Regardless of how you do that, you have to do that, right? Now, why am I talking about PPC and not talking about something else? Well, number one, because it's a topic I like to cover today. And number two, it's probably Amazon's favorite thing you can ever do. And you may ask, why the hell is that, right? That is simply because you are spending money using the platform, right? Amazon is a platform to making money. Amazon is a business just like any other. And when you are giving it money, right, and using its algorithm that they have spent probably hundreds of millions of dollars to develop, guess what? They freaking love you, man. They like what you're doing. So with that being said, it's always a good idea to launch your products using PPC. Now, you may think, well, some people tell you you should launch an auto campaign. Some people tell you you should launch a manual campaign. So let's go ahead and clear that out. Now, once again, for those of you that are tuning in right now that just came in do me a favor please and drop in the comment section let us know what city state or country you guys are tuning in from and also let us know what questions you guys have about Amazon PPC and if there's something that I'm not gonna cover here I'd love to hear about you know so and also hashtag live or replay to let us know you guys are here Casey in the house Kevin what's happening Adam in the house Chad what's going on Chad Alexander says hi buddy I'm back in London right now um, Great to join your webinar. Absolutely, my man. Glad to have you here. So now the two different, um, you know, kind of routes, you got the auto campaigns and then the manual campaigns, right? And how do these exactly work? So when you launch a new product on Amazon, if you go to advertising and then you go to campaigns or campaign manager, you're going to see that you could actually, for every single product, you can make as many campaigns as you want. You can literally make 10 automatic and 10 manual. I don't know why someone would do that, but you can. For manual, yes, it does make sense. For automatic, it doesn't make any sense. Now, when it comes to creating a, uh, a campaign or a, uh, a paid, you know, a PPC campaign, 
I personally, the, the, um, the strategy that I personally use when first launching a product is that I personally like to, um, so what I personally like to do is that I personally like to launch both manual and automatic. You're going to ask why. So you've probably heard that a lot of people have told you what you should do is that you should only launch a, um, a, a, an automatic campaign. You should run it for about $10 a day for about, I don't know, maybe like a week, 10 days, and then do a keyword search dump, right? Take all the keywords out of that campaign and then put them in a manual. Now, not all the keywords, but the keywords that people use to locate you, to click on your listing, maybe buy even, and just to have high impressions, right? And that's all great, that sounds great, but before you even launch your product, you should have done your keyword search. You should have already gone out there and really shopped around for keywords because those are the keywords that you're going to use in your back-end search terms, in your title, in your description, in your features, um, and also to use to rank your product, right? So you should have a very hefty list of keywords, right? Now, I suggest to my students to only use two to four keywords to ranking their products in the beginning, and then once they have ranked to top of page one or whatever page they want to rank for, then optimize for more keywords. Now, you may say, well, are four keywords enough to run a manual campaign? They are if those are the exact keywords you know that are gonna generate a lot of traffic and a lot of sales, but in the beginning, you still don't know that because you haven't sold a whole lot, so what I would suggest is that you run a man, uh, an automatic campaign, number one, for about 10, seven, between five to 10 days, I would do about $10 and a moderate um, bid per keyword, right? So typically what you wanna do is you want to bid between 75 cents to a dollar 20, and I would kind of go in the middle. So I would do maybe like 80 or 85 cents, and if you see that you're not getting any, um, you're not getting any clicks, you're not getting people to actually show up on your listing, then you can maybe up your, uh, um, you know, your, your bid a little bit per keyword. But you gotta understand that technically, on average, for every five people that click on your listing, one should buy. So it's a 20% conversion rate. Now, if you're getting a bunch of clicks and no one is buying, that should tell you something that your listing maybe needs some work. Maybe it's the pictures, maybe it's the price, maybe it's the features, they're not selling the product, right? So you need to look into that. So your conversion rate should be 20%. Now, and that's why I say that you're gonna spend $10 per day and bid about 80, 90 cents. So you should be at least getting a, you know, a sale per day. Now, once again, really the, the ideal uh, scenario or the, the, actual, you know, uh, the actual use of the automatic campaign is just to generate as many um, uh, keywords as possible to dump later in a manual campaign. Let's shout out some of the names that just showed up here. Steph in the house, so hey, in the house. Johnny, what's happening? Nick, what's going on, bro? Um, bro, this video quality now, that view is amazing, awesome, thanks man, appreciate it. I know, don't you guys just love the view? Before it was like this ugly white wall, now we've got these views, you know? Um, JP in the house, Steven in the house, what's going on guys? Hey, by the way, if you guys are watching right now and if you want to learn more about selling on Amazon, how I do what I do, there is a link in the comment section. Click it, it's a 25 minute, um, video where I'm gonna kind of break down more of the fundamentals, how to get started selling on Amazon, so check it out if you guys are interested in that. But going back to the campaigns and how those actually work, um, so as I mentioned, that the automatic is very important. Number two is the actual uh, manual campaign. So you need to launch with your manual campaign as well. I would set about $10, I would get about 20 keywords or so, and I would set them at a phrase. You don't want to go um, broad because it's just gonna be wasting too much money and you don't want to go exact because that is going to be too kind of narrow. Like that keyword, if when you create a, a campaign using a keyword with an exact match, it literally has got to be where you know for sure that keyword is like gold. You know that you have generated a lot of sales, you know a lot of people have used that keyword to click on your listing, then you go and create a, an exact match campaign using those keywords, right? And typically you want to do those after you have tested them 
in a manual campaign using phrase, and then once they have actually generated some sales, then you take those and put them either in the same campaign or even a different, or you could do just a different ad group within the same campaign, and that's kind of what I like to do. So I'll do, let's say if I have two products, I'll do one ad campaign for this product, one ad campaign for that product, and then under those ad campaigns, you can um, create ad groups, and then you just put, let's say, five keywords in this one, 10 keywords in this one, or maybe this is phrase, this is exact, this is uh, uh, broad, and I don't exactly use broad, but that's how I would do it. Christopher in the house, what's going on, Chris, man? Michael in the house, Lisa in the house, glad to have you here, Lisa. So once again, guys, if you're all watching, let me know what city, state, or country you guys are tuned in from, and also drop in the comment section, let me know what questions you guys have about PPC exactly. If there's something that's frustrating you guys about PPC, how PPC works, you've launched PPC campaign and it hasn't worked out for you, I would love to answer your questions. Drop them in the comment section or just reach out via message. Also, if you guys are interested in selling on Amazon, maybe you started, it didn't work out, you're stuck, you wanna scale, there's a link in the comment section that's going to explain to you the fundamentals. It's only 25 minutes. There's no sales pitch whatsoever. It's just me giving you guys value. Johnny from San Diego, yes sir. What part of San Diego are you, Johnny? Uh, Trison, Trison, Trison in the house. What's happening, brother? Glad to have you here. So once again, going back to our PPC campaigns, um, launch with an automatic, launch with a manual. Um, typically, your manual campaign should be ongoing. Typically, your automatic campaign should be ongoing, right? As far as the manual, um, and that's a case that happened with one of my recent students, after about, I don't know, maybe about two weeks of running their PPC, the top four keywords that they were trying to rank for, they were within the first five, um, you know, five listings. So when you search these keywords, they were within the first top, right, top five. So the cool thing is that after you have ranked, like literally when we were searching their product using those four keywords, they were showing up organically before, manual, before their PPC. So when you get to that point, you want to kill that keyword with manual and then you want to start optimizing for no keywords and that's where you know i've got this whole like uh, a week inside of my program that talks about you know listing optimization on roids as the the uh, the uh, the actual title of it where we talk about exactly how everything works when it comes to um you know optimizing your keyword for more for more search terms because yes you in the beginning want to focus on two to four top keywords and then rank your product for them but then what happens when you're at the top? Well, you need to keep going, you need to keep optimizing, right? Lisa, lovely view, appreciate it. Johnny, Mira Mesa in downtown. Awesome, man, I'm in downtown right now. Uh, Lisa says, how much should you bid in the beginning? So um, Lisa, uh, you just kind of missed it. So I was saying earlier, so Lisa's question was, how much should you be bidding in the beginning? So it typically depends on your product, but I personally suggest that you start with both a manual and um, and an automatic campaign, and then you want to always um, you want to always do about ten dollars per campaign. If it's a an automatic campaign, I personally suggest between seventy five to a dollar twenty. You want to kind of stay under a dollar, uh, but depends. You could do seventy five, and if you're not getting any clicks, then up your uh, your campaign a little bit or your budget per per your bid per keyword uh, for the manual. What I like to do is actually, I did not mention that. Great question, Lisa, thank you very much. Um, so for the manual, when you're doing phrase in the beginning, you want to always stay, be like, make it moderate, right? So the way I look at it is if you're creating a broad campaign, you want to be the lowest possible. Amazon is always going to suggest to you the what people are, are bidding, right? Unless if it says no information, that means you don't even want that to, to play around with that keyword. So Amazon is gonna suggest to you, and what you wanna do is you want, if it's broad, you wanna be at the lowest. If it's phrase, you wanna be in the middle. If it's exact, you wanna be at the top, and maybe even five, 10, 20% more than what they suggest, the highest. So in the beginning, I suggest to go phrase, and I would go in the middle. So if Amazon is suggesting 80 cents to $1.20 per keyword, I would go at a dollar. And then if that keyword is showing up to you to, to, see, to, to, to actually uh, generate sales and generate clicks, then I would take that keyword, put it in another campaign, and just do um, do uh, exact, and then just go you know go to town. Michael says, "How's it going from Orange County?" Awesome question. Finding proper keywords. I've thrown a ton of money at automated campaigns with obvious negatives. 
I've gathered up plenty of data and I'm running manuals with the most profitable keyword, 15A cause, that's awesome. Yet sales are a bit um, stagnant, not entirely sure what I'm doing wrong. So look, um, and that's kind of what we talked about earlier. So he's, he's, he's talking about how to get keywords, right? So I'm not sure how exactly you got your keywords, but you did mention that you are um, going with uh, uh, negative keywords. Now, negative keywords can be kind of tricky and can be good and bad at the same time. You really have to understand how negative keywords work and really be sure that like the only time I will put a negative keyword inside of my actual campaign is when my, like when I know for sure like these keywords are getting me a bunch of clicks and no one is buying. Like they're just wasting a lot of my money. Otherwise I really won't touch, you know, negative keywords that much. I like don't really touch them. Um, now, like, so let me give you guys an example. So let's say, let's say, okay, I always use my phone for example. So this is, I don't know what the hell this is, I think it's an eight. So let's say if I see that people are clicking on iPhone cover, iPhone cover case, set or iPhone seven cover case, it's got nothing to do with my product. My product is iPhone cover case for like eight, right? iPhone eight cover case. If people are clicking on iPhone seven cover case, then that's when you need to put it in. But the other issue that you're gonna have is that iPhone 7 cover case and iPhone 8 cover case are very similar because the only thing that's really uh, um, different is the number, 7 and 8, right? So that's something that you guys really have to understand before you go there and start putting negative keywords. That's number one. Number two, talking about your question as well, was how do you get more keywords? I'm not sure how you started with your keywords in the first place or where you got them from. Reverse ASIN is one. Um, you know, using keyword, uh, using tools like Jungle Scouts, like key, their Keyword Scout. Um, Helium 10 also has a tool. Uh, there's, a, a, I don't know if AMZ Scout has one, but I know Merchant Words has, a, you know, has one. And simply what you're doing is you're putting in whatever the main keyword is, and then it's going to give you a bunch of keywords. Now, what I personally like to do is I like to go for keywords that have a search volume of five to 20,000. Anything above that are going to be a little bit competitive. Now, you can go up to 50,000, but you got to make sure when you search that keyword on Amazon, the listings that are going to show up are not competitive. Unless if you are feeling competitive and you want to go for it, then go for it. But otherwise, I'll go for keywords that are going to have between 5,000 to 20,000 monthly search volume, and then just kind of stay within that, you know? But once again, you can go up to 50,000 if you want. You just got to be a little careful. How long do you wait to see if a campaign is working or when to stop? Now, as far as the actual um, uh, um, the actual automatic campaign, you kind of want to always keep it on. As far as the manual, honestly, I mean, two to four days should give you an idea if that campaign is working or not. Now, a lot of times what will happen is that you will have a campaign and then it won't be spending anything, you know? If that happens, it's, it's, you know, it's kind of one of two. Either, number one, you're not bidding enough per, per keyword, or number two, you are, uh, what's the other scenario? Um, th they kind of have nothing to do with your product or these keywords are not related to your product or, or your listing isn't really, not clickable, but like nothing about it sells. Like either the price is too high, the pictures are just messed up, the title is just all over the place or not enough, you know, because the first thing that people are gonna see are the pictures, the title, the price, right? So if you don't have any clicks on your listing, that means, pictures, title, price, and typically starts with the pictures and then really price and then title. Now, if someone uses a keyword and actually clicks on your listing, then you know at least those are decent, but they don't buy, they, you're, you know, your listing doesn't convert at least 20%, then you're gonna know that, you know what, it's probably the product features that's the next thing that's gonna go up, or the remaining of the the of, the, um, of the, uh, the pictures, or it could also be the price. Maybe they, you know, at first they looked at it, they thought, you know what, this is good, but then after they convert it to all the other listings that they have seen, maybe it did not make sense then, you know? So I hope that answers your question. Chance in the house, Michael in the house, glad to have you here, guys. So once again, guys, look, if you're still watching, go ahead and let us know what city, state, or country you guys are tuned in from. And also, if you want to learn about how selling on Amazon works, there is a link in the description to a 25-minute video where I'm going to break down the fundamentals for you, kind of teach you how it works, what it is all about. There's no sales pitch whatsoever. It's just a value video providing you guys some value and telling you guys how it is. 
Also, if you guys got any more questions about how PPC works, please drop them in the comment section below. I would love to answer them for you. But aside from that, guys, be sure get to hear Amazon FBA seller from beautiful San Diego. I will see you guys in the next video. I appreciate you all for tuning in. You guys have a great day and take care.